Hi everybody, welcome once again to the CVB Show. As always, I'm Stevie B. Well, I have a very special guest uh, with me today, and uh, he's not like another, any other guest I've ever had. Now, before we be introduce my guests, I'm going to show you a clip. This is a news story from WBZ News. It's going to talk about my very special guest, Neil Anderson. Take a look. Well, tonight we are here for this. A virtual karate kid with an inspiring story. A Medford boy is the star. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan reports, he started this to overcome his own fears. If you don't succeed, yeah! try, try again. Yeah! You just may find yourself a world champion. I looked for a dojo for a while, but I, I got scared and I like ran out of a few of them. Neil Anderson is just nine years old, but wise beyond his years. So I just kept doing it, kept training until I overcame the fear. He's talking about karate. A sport he picked up after watching Karate Kid, watching someone overcome a bully. Did you ever have bullies? Not so far. <laughs> Not anymore. He is competing to become a virtual world champion in numerous disciplines, from hand combat yeah. to weapons. Toss it up, catch, and spin. Basically, you learn, visualize the opponent that you fight with. Over the last year, he has competed across the Northeast, facing nationwide competition. He even won a knife competition, having never done it before. Uh, they had something to the tune of 40 or 42 rings. This was an actual real, it looked like a real Karate Kid tournament. So when you compete a lot, other people see, and that other people like to invite them. That's how he got into the virtual world tournament, performing his routines on camera or on his father. I am a professional punching bag. <laughs> no kidding. The videos are submitted, then judged. The winners pass through a series of tournaments before the champions battle for grand champion. Ah! They give them like um, either the bell or something that represent that. It's this um, gold jeweled crown. <laughs> Sensei Ninja Nguyen spotted his talent early. Remember ending got to be stronger. When you give him a pointer, he take that pointer and he's fixing it. He watched the Olympics this past year and he would love to compete in the Olympics as a karate athlete. To think he's already taking on the world. Yeah! In Medford, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Wow. That's amazing. So I'd like you all to welcome uh, Neil Anderson. How are you doing, Neil? I'm doing nice, good. Nice to meet you. And uh, you. this is Ninja Wynn. This is your sensei Hi. instructor. Yes, and the you? man with the cute little dog right <laughs> there is uh, Neil Anderson Sr. Uh, the dog's name is Cinnamon, right? Cinnamon, uh, yes. Uh, does she take karate too? <laughs> she does. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, I, I, when I saw your story on WBZ, I was just so impressed. I mean, how... how good you were at karate how did you, you you're from medford as you know that's why they did the story at the uh what's it called extreme ninja extreme ninja Martial, extreme ninja yeah. and um can you tell us a little bit how did you get interested in karate so when i was five or six i started watching some of the karate kid series and i started like practicing around the house practicing my kicks practicing with a stick and then I tried to go to Extreme Ninja, but I was a little bit scared, so I went out. And then, like, a few years later, I came back and I'm like, oh, I want to do this. So hmm. that's how I started. Oh, wow. And uh, you guys read it. So uh, this is uh, uh, Ninja. You, you, yes, you, sir. Your first name is actually Ninja. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I just find that incredible. So, um, now, you, um, 
when you first uh, you've, you've run the uh, dojo, uh, how long have you uh, been, been in, in Medford Square? You, you're on I've Riverside been, Ave in Medford, so I've been in Medford Square for about 2009, end of 2009. Yeah. I reopened a school over there, and um, since then, you know, I I believe he came in. I would say four years. Two, I would say, yeah. Two years ago. Two years, years ago, yeah. yeah. Well, four years when he first took the, the um, when he first took a class. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, I remember that, yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. you know. So I, I, I just uh, mentioned, um, what, what led to uh, you being pro profiled on WBZ, Neil? Any of you want to answer that? Well, I think I was just... I was doing like karate, and I think they just found my page, and they wanted to have me on their channel. Oh, I'm pretty, if I, I'm pretty if, sure. If, if I can add to that, uh, Neil, yeah. um, Neil does a lot of karate tournaments. He's yeah. he did thirty, more than thirty last year. Thirty? Wow. He, he loves to compete, and he's even been doing uh, a couple of virtual tournaments, and one of them is a world championship. People from around the world compete virtually, and we were out at our local playground um, taping until after dark on a school night, yeah. and there was this gentleman uh, walking his dog, and he just stopped to watch, mm -hmm. and then he came and introduced himself to us afterwards, and it was uh, the WBZ reporter. And so uh -huh. he took he took my phone number and uh, the rest, as they say, is is history. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, when I saw, I mean, I knew I had to have Neil on the uh, and and his teacher as well. So um, Neil, let's take a look at some of these uh, awards now. This is was this from the tournament you went to this weekend? Yes. So this one right here, it's a Cervizis. That was the one I did on Sunday. The it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. It's yeah. very nice. Just want to be careful with that. This one right here is sparring. This was in Battle of Baltimore from Maine. Oh. This one's like a square medal. Was that the sword Different. fighting, Neil? It either sword. No, I got first in sword fighting, so it's. Per I think this is sparring. Oh, that's nice. It's beautiful. And this last one here? This last oh. one here is also from Battle of Maine. It's first place in weapons. In weapons? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> look at look at that! Look at, look at the way it shines. That's nice. what kind. When you say weapons, what kind of weapons? Well, my main weapon is the fav my favorite weapon is bow, and that's what I usually compete in. Now, what's the bow exactly? Is it like a stick or? It's like a long stick, but a little bit lighter and yeah. and straight. I think I know. We're going to show a clip of that in a little while. Um, but um, I um, we have some pictures actually of um you at the um, tournament. Uh, we're going to show this one. Now, this is uh, the first one. Uh, this is you, and uh, you're posing. You look like you're ready to, you know, rock out, really start to kick some butt, as they say. <laughs> hey, and uh, we got another picture here, and uh, that's you with your dad. And look at all the medals around you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you got a, got a lot of medals. And uh, and this is my favorite pick right here. This is you holding your dog, Cinnamon. She's, oh, my God. She's, that is so cute. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my that, that that's adorable. So so how how did you do in, in the tournament? What place did you come in? In Battle of Baltimore, I think I got Battle, if, Battle of Maine. Yeah, Battle of my, Maine. I got t one third, one second, and two first places. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. In Cerezi's, I got two thirds and one first place. Wow, Gee, you're amazing. Uh, now, Mr. Wynn, uh, yes, sir. should I? Should, can I call you Ninja or Mr. Wynn? Doesn't I mean, matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever you plan to do. Right. Now, um, you have a book out here. Um, we're going to take a look at this book here. It's called uh, Step on the Mat by Ninja Wynn. Um, you can get this book. Uh, you wrote this book. And uh, I understand it's a bestseller on yes. Amazon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It basically tells the story about your life. About the... Uh, you. Uh, according to the book, you, you started martial arts when you were four years old? Yes. yes. Four years old? My goodness. Uh, you you grew up in a small fishing village in Vietnam. Yes. So uh, when did you come to this country? Uh, 1980. We actually come in Boston. 1980. Uh -huh. We left Vietnam. 1978. 1970. Yeah. Oh wow. Now this was like, this was like the, the tail end of the Vietnam War. Am I, Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
you know, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting read. Um, so when you were taking martial arts, like when you first came to this country, did you, um, did you start taking martial arts in Vietnam or when you, did you start when you came to this country? In Vietnam. In Vietnam. Yeah. So what, uh, a little bit story about my life was like back then, 1980, uh, 1974. Mm -hmm. So my family have a big family. So mm -hmm. what happened is my dad, he owned a bo uh, boat. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they smuggle people out. Oh. So in Vietnam, the way how it is, is when you turn 18, they come over and they take you in the military. Oh. It's not like in America, you have to have that draft, you know. We, yeah, we don't have the draft anymore. I, I oh, know we that. don't? But we, we used to, back in the Vietnam War, I mean, we, we, um, I, I had two uncles who served during the Vietnam War. Wow. Uh, one was stationed in Germany. He never went over to Vietnam, but you know. And I had uh, another uncle who was in the was in the Navy off the Vietnam coast. Wow. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. So uh, so they you were smuggled from. Yeah. So the way how it is is my dad. He have we have my big brother. A couple of my big brother. They're over eighteen. So what my dad do is they smuggle them over here. And to me, it was like at that time I was young. Mm -hmm. So every single day, I would don't don't see my brother. So I am a curious person. So what happened? I asked my dad where my brother go. So every single day I asked him because I didn't see them. So what my dad did was he brought me to a martial art place. So mm -hmm. by that way, keep me busy. So by that way, I don't ask questions. <laughs> so that's how I started in Vietnam. This is is that like when you, you he sent you to this place like to keep you out of trouble in a way. In some way, yes. Oh, so okay. a curious young kid asking questions. Mm -hmm. So my dad don't want the military kind of know like where we go and what we plan to do. So that's what uh, happened. That's what my journey of a martial arts thought. Oh, that's really. And uh, who, when you came to this country, like uh, who, who, who did you continue to take lessons? Who, who taught you? So I went a couple of places. My brother was training Taekwondo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, Master Tabata, I was trained under him. You know, mm -hmm. so and then after that, meanwhile, I was 12 years old. I came 1980, I was 10, and then I went a couple out of school to train. And then because they seen I was black belt, so I started helping them and then teaching them at their school. And then that, that's how I learned English, matter of fact. Oh. You know, so um, back, back then when I came, it was very difficult because I didn't learn any language. And at, in Vietnam, I didn't go to school because we was living in a small town. Yeah. So because of that, my parents always busy, so we didn't, I didn't go to school. Oh, oh. so um, when you, what was the first, was, it, was uh, Extreme Ninja, was that the first place you opened up or was there other places before that? I opened another place from beginning, I graduated high school and then I opened one in Stoneham. Oh. You know, right now it's the Redstone Mall where it is. Oh. And, uh, I opened that one, that dojo, it's just a martial arts school we call dojo, it's a Sky High Karate Academy. Oh. That's where I opened. And then I closed and then I was working uh, bodyguard and running uh, security at the nightclub Avalon. I'd hire you as a bodyguard, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would. Uh, uh, but protect me, no problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Neil would be your sidekick. You know, I'd, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be fine. If I ever become a famous movie star, I want you and Neil to uh, right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could be the uh, uh, the guy who takes the fall if I get hurt or something like that. that, that <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't come yeah. out right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, no. Extreme Ninja has been in River. It's on Riverside Ave in Medford Square. Uh, now, how long have you had? Uh, when did you open? Thirteen it? years now. So two thousand nine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what is? Do you get a lot of? Kids Neil's age, or do you have any uh, older adults who come to yes. this? Yes, so the youngest age we start is three. The oldest one right three? now we have, yes. Wow. Yeah. The oldest one we have right now is 67 years old. Wow. You know, so we have no age weapon, really. No. Oh. However, the kid, the young kids start as three. Okay, we're going to show a little clip of... Um, your school. I mean, uh, some of the uh, some of your instructors and everything. We're just going to take a look and see what it goes on at that school. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look, guys.
Well, I, you have you have quite a it's, it's packed a lot of kids and everything and all all sorts of different ages and everything. Uh, must uh, how many how many instructors do you have? We have total right now. We have fifteen. 15, 15 instructors, yeah. And they always start like new age. Yeah. You know, they, they grown up, they in it, and then they start to work over there. They start to contribute back, and then they start becoming instructor. Oh, wow. That's, that, that's amazing. So, Neil, like, um, do you, do you, how often do you go to Extreme Ninja? Do you go every day to uh, practice, or? I go on Mondays. I help out with some class, with a class, and then I take a class Monday. You teach the class? Uh, I don't teach. I help out. Oh. So it's basically like an assistant to the helper, and you help teach the kids, basically. And then on Thursday, I come for mentoring for the leadership team. And then on on Friday, I have storm team. That's basically a competition team where you train. And then on Saturdays, I have weapons class, regular class, and sometime, every third Saturday, I have leadership team. So... You're a busy little man, definitely busy little man. But sometimes I can't go on Saturdays because I have tournaments mm -hmm. a lot. Now, you mentioned weapons. We're going to show one uh, one more clip. This is um, a clip of you uh, with what's called the bow. Uh, we're going to take see how you got to you got to see how good you got to see how good Neil is in this. Take a look at this. God, you're so fast. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't do any of those things. That, oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, yeah, I, I sprained my wrist. He had nothing to do with it, so don't worry. It's just, I'm fine. Really, it's just a little bit of a. It's a, just something I fell. Uh, but uh, I'm fine though. Okay, so don't don't blame him. Don't blame Mr. Wynn or anything like that. Okay. Right. Yeah, but but no, you're so good at that with that bow. I mean, it, it's like you could be. It, it's like you could be in like in a in a Karate Kid movie if you could. Now, did you watch the Karate Kid movies? Because I know you and my, uh, me and my, your father, were at that age. We remember the old Karate Kid movie with Johnny Lawrence and Ralph, well, uh, William Zabka and Ralph Macchio, Mr. Miyagi. I mean, yeah. it, w those were my favorite movies. I'm a kid of the '80s, so that's all I know. About. <laughs> have you seen those movies? Yeah, I watched all of them. You watched all of them. Now, have you? Um, I know. Uh, I've been binge watching Cobra Kai, the latest thing on Netflix and that that's a, and it's so it takes you back you know when you see all these people the only thing missing of course is Pat Morita and uh, uh, you miss that too but I mean you could be that's one Mr. Miyagi Neil <laughs> oh yeah yeah funny thing is I, I'll tell you this one story I almost got to meet Pat Morita he was going to perform in Stoneham at the it's now called the Greater Boston Theater Company the Stoneham Theater he was going to do a version of The Odd Couple with Sherman Hemsley, who was Mr. Jefferson, oh, wow. but yeah, but he um, he canceled at the last minute because he was developing like pain, uh, arthritic pain or something. So he, I never went to see him, and a year later he passed away. Oh, so, wow. um, yeah. But no, but he uh, he had a great life story that I love, and I always I always love seeing him on all those shows that he used to do and everything. But um, Neil, um, you go. No, as your, if, I mean, you must be really proud of your son. I mean, he's done a lot of uh, wonderful things. I mean, the way he's done all, all the karate things. Now, is it true that you're his? Um, I saw on the news you're his punching bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, yes. I, 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 I said that half in jest, but no, it, it's actually somewhat true. Um, I help Neil practice. He's one thing I can say. Um, He's had a lot of accomplishments in a really short period of time. I know. But he works so hard at this sport. It's not just the days he goes to the dojo. He gave you his, his cut back schedule, by the way. Fourth grade has been uh, um, fun, but it's a, it's, fourth grade is a, 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 
different than third grade. So he, mm -hmm. he last year he was going six days a week. Yeah. Wow. But when he's not at karate, he's practicing karate. Wow. I mean, and, and so a lot of times I'm doing that with him. And if he needs a sparring, um, you know, a uh, partner, meaning I don't, I'm too big. I don't, you know, hit back or anything oh, like that. But go I'll easy go on your dad. I'll, <laughs> go through the, I'll go through the motions. And it's funny, when he started doing this, it wasn't so bad. Now I actually have to wear some gear yeah. because um, the, 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 the boy can throw a punch and he can really uh, kick. <laughs> I believe it. And now, uh, Neil, we're going to, you're going to do a demonstration for us. So we're going to get everything ready, up, get everything set, and you're going to, you and uh, Mr. Wynn will uh, do a demonstration for us. Uh, can you tell us what you're going to do? Um, we could do the bow form if that's okay. I love to, I love to hear. I love to see that. I I I love saw the video clip. I got to see that. So when we come back, we're gonna see Neil uh, with his bow and uh, take a look at it. Hi, my name is Ninja, and this is Neil. Today he's gonna demonstrate the bow form that how he's competing in a tournament, and the bow form is just visualize opponent that attacking you. So I'm going to step out of the way so for Neil to do demonstrate hit form. So that's what the form he's competing in the tournament. So that's, we call that a weapon division. So the next one he's going to do what we call an empty form. So I'll take that. So presentation and everything. So by the way, you can see. Judges, we're playing Team Extreme. My name is Neil Anderson. I'm digging with Union 5. It's your version, man. Please sit back and begin. So when they, he compete, they base on the stances, how good the strike is, and how much your intention of the form is. Wow. Neil, you are amazing. You are incredible. I mean, I wish I could do that. I mean, that <laughs> is just so unbelievable. I mean, do, um, I mean, uh, when you grow up, are you going to be like Mr. Wynn and be a karate instructor or? Hopefully. Hopefully. I, I want to. Hopefully. So, yeah. And, um. It's really uh, you were just amazing. I mean, the audiences loved it. It's just it's going to be fun. So I want to thank Mr. Wynn. I want to thank you, Neil Senior, and Neil. I wanted to thank them for being my guest. Neil, I want to wish you good luck in all your tournaments. Thank you. Mr. Wynn, thank you so thank much you for very being much here. Me on. And uh, Mr. Anderson, I can't reach uh, that far. I know we're <laughs> I that far. But You're I, so welcome. I'm delighted. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. He's a good boy. I hope he does well. I wish him all nothing but success in his life thank you so much thank, thank you very much, much. and you. that's all the time we have for the cbb show as always i'm cbb if you want to know if we want to know more about um extreme ninja can uh, or in the book uh, can, mr wing can you tell us a little bit about uh so the book is uh to get the book you can go on amazon and type in step on the mat life mm -hmm. lesson by ninja mm -hmm. and if they want to find out more about extreme ninja what, what's the website it's a website extreme ninja.com it start with an x t i e m e oh. n i n j a dot com okay we'll, we'll definitely put that in the credit sign i want to thank uh, ninja win uh neil can I, anderson can i just throw one thing in there Steve? you can throw in anything uh, you want because i uh, um I'm, I'm not just a proud dad I'm, I'm a proud karate dad and i can say that um the, the best thing we ever did was step into Extreme Ninja. It's, been, it's made a huge difference in Neil's life, 
It's made a huge difference in my own life. Um, they have an amazing community. Uh, if you could have been at yesterday's tournament and mm. seen all of the parents and all of the students competing, um, it was absolutely awesome. So anyone, um, anyone out there who's listening, even, even grown-ups, there are, there are a lot of adults who take classes. I'm actually doing kickboxing now uh, myself. Yourself? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Um, there's a lot of classes and a lot of things for everybody um, at that school. So um, I, I just got to I, I gotta throw that out there because uh, a you lot know, of I, the success that, that Neil has had, I, I, I credit this gentleman um, mm. to my right. You know, funny thing is, I always go by Extreme Ninja because I go to Donuts with a Difference. <laughs> that's my that's uh, that's my go to place to get a donut, best donuts in the world. So. Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely. I, I know, so I do it. But uh, it, it's fun, um, Mr. Anderson. Thank you very much, You're welcome. and Mr. Wynn, thank, thank you. you, and thank Neil, you. once again, thank you very much. And like I said, that's all the time we have. Until I want to thank my guests, Neil Anderson, Ninja Wynn, and the book is called. Step on Life that. Lessons of the Ninja. Oh, Step on the Mat. Life Lessons of the Ninja by Ninja Win. So uh, I recommend you go to uh, Amazon and order it. It's a good read, and I highly recommend it. So until next time, thank you for watching the CVB show. I'm CVB, and we'll hope to see you next time. So long, thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>